everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and today we're going to show you how to craft the Frost Spark Boots here in Terraria for all platforms. That's right, we've done Lava Waders. Now, today we're going to show you how to make the Frost Spark Boots here in Terraria. But before we get there, as always, please hit subscribe on the channel right now. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. We can't do it without your help. Secondly, hit that bell notification so you know when I go live or drop a new video. Number three, drop a like and comment down below because those are hugely helpful for the algorithm and will help us get to more people. And finally, check out the description down below for a lot of cool links. Now, let's show you how to craft the Frostbark boots. Now, to make the Frostbark boots, we're going to need two things from the Goblin Tinker. That would be the Tinkerer's Workshop to make everything that we need. And secondly, we need the Rocket Boots. So, in order to get yourself the Goblin Tinkerer, you're going to need to wait until there's a Goblin Invasion. Defeat the Goblin Invasion, then go underground to the Cavern Lair. If you use a Hunter Potion, you might be able to see the Bound Goblin that'll be highlighted in green. Find the Goblin rescue him, get him back to the surface, and you'll be able to go in like this, go into shop, and you can see right here, you'll be able to buy the rocket boots, and also, more importantly, the Tinkerer's Workshop. Got that? So we're going to set up the Tinkerer's Workshop back in my other world, and we'll continue from there. Now that we've got our rocket boots and our Tinkerer's Workshop, the next thing we have to make is the Spectre boots. In order to do that, we need rocket boots, and we need to combine them with either the Hermes boots, the Sailfish boots, the Flurry boots, or the Dune Rider boots. Let's show you where to get all of those now. To get your hands on Flurry boots, you'll need to find yourself an ice chest somewhere in the snow biome. To get yourself some sailfish boots, you'll have to fish them up, and they'll be found in any body of water in either a wooden, iron, pearl wood, or mithril crate. To get yourself the Dune Rider boots, you'll need to be in the underground desert biome and find them in a desert chest just like this one. To find yourself some Hermes boots, you'll need to find a gold chest somewhere in the underground or cavern lair. Don't worry, they're everywhere. Now that you've got the boots you need, and we've decided to use the Hermes boots, you'll take your Hermes, Sailfish, Flurry, or Dune Rider boots with your Rocket boots, head over to the Tinker's Workshop, go to Crafty like that, and there you go, right there, there is your Spectre boots. Now that we've got our Spectre boots, we need to next create the Lightning boots. Now, in order to do that, we will need an Anklet of the Wind and an Aglet. Let's show you where to find those. To find yourself an Aglet, you'll need to find a wooden chest somewhere along the surface layer, much like this one here that we found in the jungle. To find yourself an Aglet of the Wind, you'll need to locate them in ivy chests, which are in the underground jungle biome located here in a jungle shrine or in a living mahogany tree. Now that we've got our Anklet, our Aglet, and our Spectre Boots, we head back over to the Tinkerer's Workshop, go to Crafting, and we can make ourselves some Lightning Boots. And now the final item we're going to need is a pair of Ice Skates, which you will find in the underground snow biome in a snow chest, as we found before with the Flurry Boots. Now that we have our Lightning Boots and our Ice Skates, as you can see here, we combine them together at a Tinkerer's Workshop to get yourself some Frostbark Boots. And now, as you can see, when you have your Frostbark boots equipped, they allow for flight, super fast running, and extra mobility on ice with an 8% increased movement speed. There you go. So, if I helped you out today, and I hope I did, please, once again, hit subscribe, drop a like, comment down below, and all the other fun things I said. I'll see you guys in the Discord channel. Take care. I'll see you next time. Ciao.